In this video, we're going to go through the process of installing the new QReader 750 for the free QReader CE. So if you Google QReader 101, you're going to go to this nice uh, website and in there you're going to find news about QReader. In particular, we find this entry that uh, for downloading the new QReader Community Edition. When you click on this link, uh, you are going to be uh, prompted to either log in if you don't have an account in here the, the, the account again you can create it is free with your email address uh, but if you have already authenticated like I did you go into this particular place and you click here download curator community edition which I already did so I'm gonna install that ISO image into my VMware so I go on the VMware Fusion file new and I'm going to drag that ISO image into here. I click continue. I never use the easy install. I click continue again. It's legacy BIOS in my system. And you need to do customize settings. So here, this is the directory where I'm going to be putting. I create a folder called Curator CE where I'm going to be placing it and in here you need to set up a couple of things number one the number of cores the documentation asks for minimum of four cores I'm going to give it 10 because I have those available the memory that is required is 24 gigabytes I'm going to give it 32 because I have that, um, that amount of memory and going back here uh, in terms of the networking, you need to specify whatever your networking is. In my case, uh, this is the network I'm going to be using. And the most important and tricky part is on the this space. Well, not only you have to specify uh, the, the documentation as for uh, 250 gigabyte of disk. So I'm going to give it uh, 350 gigabyte, but in my VMware Fusion, uh, the, the way that is set up uh, is that it uses this NVMe uh, type of uh, uh, provisioning and this is what is called used to be called thin provisioning in which your image if you give it a disk of 500 gigabytes it's not going to take the 500 gigabyte at once it's going to gradually uh, grow the disk as it needs the space but that doesn't work with uh, this uh, uh, curator CE install process because it's going to go and check and because it will not find all those uh, gigabytes allocated it's going to it's going to fail the install so you need to go here and select SATA and then uh, do pre-allocate this space and on select this split into multiple files and you apply that and this is going to take a while because it's actually allocating the, the, the all those uh, gigabyte of this. Let me pause the video until this finishes. So this took about seven minutes for this amount of uh, this space. So I guess that we are ready to go now. So I'm going to click uh, play here. Um, I ignore this uh, side channels mitigation message. And here we go. We're going to take the default. I don't want to wait 51 seconds. And I'm going to let this go and pause the video as uh, this comes along. Uh, this process is, is easily can take one or two hours. I'm going to put a timer and at the end of the video we'll tell you exactly how much it took. Uh, but um, allocate some time for it. Uh, again, pausing the video until these things ask for my uh, input. After around 10 minutes, it uh, rebooted. So I'm going to hit, uh, take the default option. I'm going to pause the video again until this requires my assistance. Well, after around nine minutes, it uh, rebooted again. So hitting enter there to Save a few seconds and pause in the video until the next one. 
one comment might be obvious but uh, uh, notice in here that it says downloading packages so you need to have uh, internet connectivity uh, to go through this install process pausing the video again so around 20 minutes later uh, I got the request for login so I'm going to log in as root and it should ask me to put the password for the first time or the license so hit the space bar until the bottom of it and if you agree you're going to put here yes and this is a very important part you need to be careful I'm going to take the default here is an all-in-one default here default here I'm going to take the defaults here as well as here you whatever part of the world you are uh, I'm using IPv4 that's the MAC address now the host name has to be a fully qualified name so I'm going to put QRadar CE dot uh, demo dot com now the IP address and you need to know your networking in mine is going to be 172.16.60.10 that's the IP address I wanted to have and using the slash 24 of 255 255 255 0 the gateway in my network is uh, 172 dot sixteen dot sixty dot two my primary DNS is going to be quad nine I like those guys and the secondary is going to be Google's and that should be doing it if you have any mistake in here that is obvious the the menu will uh, try to help you in there again uh, I'm going to start the the timer again and I will well actually before I do that uh, I need to set up the GUI password so I'm going to put that there I'm going to do tap oops I missed I click tap and click finished and I'm pretty sure this is going to take a long time so I'm starting a timer to let you know how long it took and pausing the video until then well one hour and four minutes later we get the screen saying you are all done so let's click here OK and we are on the actual console let's wait a little bit until the I get some message but well, I'm, I'm right there so if I click here on the on, use the command top to see the CPU usage but notice that <laughs> I have 21 cores being used and I only gave it 10 so it's best to wait until this thing settles around you know two three cores let me post the video until that happened and then we'll resume well we're around three percent uh, three cores rather let's go into the console and I have already a bookmark to that IP address and that's the password that we put during the installation we need to accept the license agreement one more time so this is a reminder that on July 11 my license expired you can go into the site and renew your license every you have to do that for every three months but I think it is a good deal because this is a full brown product except for the limitation of the EPS is actually pretty good now let's go into the admin tab because typically when you 
begin a new install and the system discover new things you may get uh, yeah on deploy changes and if you see the details I have uh, flows because I have flows being sent from my pfSense into this box so let's actually deploy the changes and I'm gonna post the video until that completes so let me actually go here now that the changes are deployed and going to log sources because I get some logs being sent automatically and I'm sure that by now they should have been auto discovered yep well yeah we get yeah this is being auto discover yeah, this is working let's go here under the log activity tab we got logs in here let me go to the flows we got flows let's go into the offenses tab we shouldn't have any and here you are a full curator system remember that in the video description of all of my videos there's a link to a public box folder scroll down around the third page you find a PDF with hundreds of videos that show you everything that you want to know about curator I'm not uh, showing you the actual PDF so as you can see it goes from the very basic to very sophisticated topics again hundreds of videos uh, the most recent one have the duration the dating when it was created uh, you know all the this uh, use case manager section is actually very useful so I hope you enjoy it